Welcome everyone, I'm making this video um, only because I had to destroy a MacBook in order to figure out how to replace the keycaps, um, like the arrow keys. Um, there's no tutorials on how to do this and it's kind of shocking because look, this is my other Mac. Do you see this? You see this? This is fully broken. I cannot recover this. But hopefully um, you haven't destroyed your keycaps, um, you haven't destroyed everything and um, you don't need a keyboard replacement by Apple because I'm going to show you how to replace uh, the keycaps, uh, the uh, arrow keys. So this is the same process for the right and left arrow key. Um, but just remember, every instruction that I do with the right arrow key is inverted on the left. So if I say pull up from the right side, you pull up from the left, right? Nice and easy. But I do recommend you watch a dedicated tutorial uh, if you do have a left uh, arrow key, just so you don't end up in the same situation as me. So uh, let's get started. First thing we want to do, I'm just trying to rest this tripod so it doesn't like bend around. So first thing you want to do is let me just zoom in the camera and I'm going to move it across. And you want to get something like this, right? And you want to pull up from the right hand side. So don't, don't go too deep until like you see the key pops up. And then you want to go to the bottom left and then you should um, do this. So just pull upwards. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing as far as that. So you just, oh, this is not ideal. So you basically pull the bottom part up when you've lifted it up, but only like this bottom right side. You don't want to pull the left hand side because this is where uh, you do not want to mess up. So we'll try again. So we'll go here, we'll pop up and then we'll try and pull. And you hear that there's a click right there. So now we've taken one part of the thing off. So we've taken this part because I've pulled up like this. And then we've only had one click so far. So I'm just going to continue pulling up from the bottom left. There you go, two clicks. And so if you've done this correctly, now this part can flap loosely. And let me tell you right now, you do not want to mess around with this side because if you break this side, you, you screwed up the entire thing. So just so I can show you again, you pull it up and then you just slowly pick this up. You want to hear two clicks. If you hear a double click, then you've done it both at once, right? And you can see this bar lifts up, but the second other half doesn't lift up. Next, you want to get your tweezers, right? And you see right here, there's this compartment. Um, I need to, I would need to zoom in further for this, but let me show you. Okay, this should, this should do the trick. What you want to do is you want to go to the bottom, where this very bottom part is, and you want to go to the middle area, and then you want to move down, and then you just want to lift up both sides. And you want to do this very carefully, because you don't want to break anything, obviously. And that's, that's going to break something. This is like, this is not fun. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I pulled the bottom left, a right hand side. Uh, I felt I, I probably did too much pressure. Usually it undoes one side. Now once we've done this, you know, we'll just use these. We should be able to um, you see this part's free and then you want to slide this across and you want to move this and boom so what I did is I slid um, so I held this and then I slid it across and then boom now okay Ooh, thank god now we have the um, uh, the the arrow key and then the key cap right here. And so if you had any like debris or whatever, you can now clear that up out of here and um, make sure you do not touch these things or this, or you break the entire thing. That's why I didn't do all my other MacBook. Oh my God, it's so depressing. Just, oh, it's gonna cost like a grand and I do not want to pay a grand. Anyway, so if you haven't messed everything up, the next step you want to do, let me just move this tripod back down. I'll go one X. Next thing you want to do is you want to slide down from here. So 
we're just going to I'm just going to do it slowly. So we're just going to make sure this looks like this. So boom. And we're going to flatten it down. You just want to slide. So I'm going to lift it up again because it seems like it clipped. So we just want to slide. Slowly. And boom. So now we have the key cap. And we also have the key itself. So key cap, key. I almost like messed it up. Right. And now there's one thing you want to look at. So... How am I going to do this? So you see, I'm going to zoom in and then try. Okay, so you see this, right? If this is like, if you don't see these like overlaying protections, you've broken the keycap and you're going to have to buy a replacement one, right? The important part is the actual MacBook itself because these cost ten pound. Right? This is a replacement one because I broke the last one because I just I, I there was no store on YouTube, so what am I meant to do? Um, but Look at the MacBook. This is the MacBook's the important part because this is this is the one which you can't really replace yourself. So there are two upwards facing uh, areas. Make sure these are here, and then there's another one on the side, right? And then you also have. I I think some MacBooks do not have this like clicky thing, but yeah, uh, <laughs> that was a bit random. But hopefully yours has the clicky thing as well. Um, my other MacBook didn't, which I don't. I just, I'm confused, honestly, with my other Mac. Because I swear that's just... No, they, they have a different feel. I, I don't even know. I, I, and let's get let's get back on track, right? Because like, my other Mac, when I like took it apart, when I took the keycap away, didn't have this at all. And that makes no sense, because that was before I messed everything up. Um, anyway, so... Once you've done this, we need to put, um, you know, clear the debris. And then this is the key cap right here. We need to put this back in first. So what you want to do is rotate it. So the, oh my God, this is, I'm trying my best here, sorry. But like, there's no other tutorial on YouTube, so it's this or nothing. Anyway, so you see this key cap? And then you see how it moves. You want to make it so that this part with the big hole is at the bottom right so you can feel it it's quite obvious right and if you move like this you can see it's at the bottom and what you want to do is let me move this over nice and quickly boom you want to push it to the to the far right and then slide across right i thought i messed it up so let me just zoom in so you can see now it looks like it's just blended in. It's slid in under here, right? So I'm gonna do it again with a better camera angle. So I don't wanna mess this up. Let me just pop this all out again. Just so I can show you again. So don't I don't wanna mess anything up here. So you pull it on the side, right? Yeah, that's a lot better of a camera angle. Pull it on the side, then slide across, right? And then you just push down. And you should do a nice click, right? You might need to do a bit of a lining here, but it should click nice and easily. And then that's what doesn't happen on this, which means, look, right? Can you see that? These are on the side. I could, if I just need tweezers and I can just push them right back up, hopefully. That doesn't answer how there's not, non, there's not, there's no this, right? I'm very tempted to lift off this key cap because I now know how to do it properly. And just see if if this is just the only keyboard uh, keycap which doesn't have this, because then that's a very big issue. But that's unrelated, right? That's unrelated. So now we need to put the replacement key back on. So let's say let's say um, you know you got a replacement key, or you want to put the existing key back on. You just cleaned up. So what you want to do, man? If this could focus. You want to find the parts. So you see there's like this and there's like this, right? And what you want to do is you want to find this side right here. And this is the side that we put on the left. This is the side we put on the right. Obviously, if you're doing a left keycap, vice versa. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to use these tweezers. And we're just going to lift up on this part right here. Which will make our process 
as easy as possible. So now you can see this side is lifted up. So what we're going to do is we're going to bloody focus. We're just going to slide this under. Right? Not like that, but like I'm, I'm watching through the camera, which is really bad. Do you see? I've now slid it under. And then you want to slide up. And like you can see, I, I messed it up. But you want to be very careful here. This is like, you don't want to mess this up because you will break something. So. Okay. I think I, I, think I did that okay. And boom. So what I just did is by accident, I pushed this over. But you'd want to move this out the way. And you can just push down on the right side. And now we're good to go. Now we successfully replaced the keycaps. So don't do what I did. Don't mess it up. Please don't mess it up. Um, like, obviously, the reason why this is the wrong direction is because uh, the key I bought, the, the guy sent me the wrong one. But when I get the right one, I will um, obviously fix it, because I can fix this keyboard. Yeah, these are different keyboards. But I can't fix this one for now. Maybe, I think I just need to use tweezers and just move it back up. Uh, but we'll have to see. I'm not going to give up on this just yet. But I think Apple's going to charge me 500 quid, and I'm going to be upset. But what can I do? Nothing is the answer. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. This wasn't the most cleanest tutorial. I don't have the right equipment. My 11 Pro Max is what I'm using to record this video, and it just isn't very good. Um, uh, like, focusing closely. Bye-bye.